to talk about silicon. And I saw this uh, YouTube video from Bill Nye that talked about a new process that used uh, particle acceleration to uh, change the way we make uh, solar panels. So I find that very, very fascinating because today the way we make uh, solar panels are by, uh, we actually have to take this huge uh, dye of, of silicone and then we uh, use like a, like effectively a saw to chop it into thin pieces. But it's a lot of dust and it's a lot of waste. And as the video says, that's very, very useful for things like chips where you don't really have that much surface area. But as you start looking at things that are larger, like a whole panel, that's very, very inefficient. So uh, a group uh, came up with this very clever idea of, well, let's use a particle accelerator to, to cut a really, really small piece or thin uh, sheet of sil uh, silicone. And uh, then we can make solar panels that way. And, and it makes this really thin film that you put on top of, uh, of um, or you use to compose a, a, a silicon panel. And and I do apologize for uh, saying silicone and silicon <laughs> like different. <laughs> um, I apologize for that, I do that sometimes. But I think the applications for this is amazing. I mean, when you think about it, um, that actually puts us closer to uh, being more efficient from an energy perspective. And I think sometimes uh, people don't really understand the importance of that. Uh, currently we have over uh, 7 billion people that live in the world today. The number is only going to increase. Uh, why is that? People are living longer. Uh, death rates, uh, or I should say, uh, birth rates are increasing. They're not decreasing over time. Um, so we have a lot of uh, things that are uh, adding to the fact that a lot more people are going to be living a lot longer. And so therefore, uh, you know, our population rates, uh, as far as production rates, aren't decreasing. Uh, so you, you have a lot of you have more people on, on the air. So what's going to happen is uh, we're going to have more devices that require more energy and you'll have more people. So that means that we need to become a lot more efficient with how we collect energy and how we produce energy. And the old school methods of burning coal like we do in certain countries and also um, how we uh, use oil uh, to propel our vehicles. We need a, a, a different way and it's and the, honestly it's not going to be one solution. It's going to be you know kind of the all of the above. You know we're going to need a little bit of wind. We're going to need a little bit of water. We're going to need a lot of solar but it's not going to be one clear thing that that kind of takes us to that point of being more ener energy efficient. But our strategy des definitely, definitely has to change and it's great when we see like inventions like this or, or science evolving in such a way and it, it's so uh, funny because I, I grew up in the 80s and I'm not sure about you guys uh, but that was the decade that I grew up in and you know I think my only thought process about energy was really do I have enough batteries to power, power, to power my handheld device which happens to be uh, which happens to be uh, uh, my Game Boy at the time <laughs> yes the original Game Boy the, the <laughs> The one with the green and black screen. <laughs> it was a, 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 a little small box. That was really um, the most thought I had about energy. And, and really, the, my thoughts of energy efficiency is, how long will my batteries last? So, um, it was a chemical process in the batteries. And, and I mean, that's great, but we need to kind of think larger. And it's fantastic that people are investing in things that will, you know, uh, really make our use more efficient. Where we can collect more power from. Our, our greatest uh, energy source, which is the sun. So that's kind of my thought, and that really seems very groundbreaking, and it'll be interesting like when that actually becomes uh, productionalized. And for, for me, um, it's amazing how fast we're evolving, because going back, you know, only thing I thought about was like batteries, and now we're talking about like, how can we make, you know, uh, silicone uh, uh, wafers from particle accelerators? This is just, it's amazing the, the rapid amount of change that we're having in such a short period. So, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Thanks for watching. What's your thoughts? Do you think this is super cool? Uh, is this something that you would, you know, uh, want to look into more? What do you know about the topic? Uh, I appreciate 
any feedback or any questions that you have about this. So uh, thanks for watching.